Hey traders, welcome or welcome back to a new trading strategy using Luxalgo Premium Indicators. Today, I'm going to share a day trading technique that has worked wonders for me on both short time frames like the 5 and 15 minute charts and longer ones like the 1 hour and daily charts. I tested this strategy across all kinds of assets and found that it's incredibly versatile. So whether you're into trading cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum or major Forex pairs, commodities or stocks, this strategy can work for you too. Just a quick heads up, this video isn't sponsored by Luxalgo. However, if you decide to give it a try, just make sure to use my link to save up to 50% with an annual subscription. By the way, they have a 30-day refund policy, so you can test these premium indicators literally risk-free. Now let's get straight into it. Today I'm talking about a strategy called trend trading. It's pretty simple. I follow the market's overall mood. Basically, I buy when most people are buying and sell when they're selling. You probably already know that trading lower timeframes can be risky, and that's why we use strict rules for our trading to potentially minimize our risks and maximize our profits as much as possible. All right, as I already mentioned, this strategy works across several markets and timeframes, but for today's video, I'll use the Ethereum chart. The strategy includes just one indicator. To add it to our chart, we want to click on the Indicators tab and search for Lux Algo Signals and Overlays Premium. This this tool is super popular with 26,000 likes, so let's add it to our chart. Next, let's double click on it and let's tweak its settings. First, let's take a look at the basic settings. For the presets and filters, I am using none. For the signal mode, I am using confirmation and exits. This setting will give us buy and sell signals as well as exit signals. The AI signal classifier is a great tool I really like to use, but for this strategy, we don't need it, so make sure this option is disabled. Next, I leave the signal sensitivity by default, as I like using the autopilot sensitivity. Then, for the candle coloring, I use confirmation simple. For this strategy, we want to use the NeoCloud indicator overlay, so make sure to enable the NeoCloud by clicking this checkbox. Now if we scroll down, we can find here the advanced settings, and here we can choose the frequency of the displayed entry and exit signals. For me, the midterm sensitivity works best, but you need to make sure to choose a frequency that fits your asset and time frame. All right, now before we get into the trading rules, I want you to understand how this indicator and the signals work. And let's start with this buy and sell signals. The confirmation signals help us decide when to buy or sell, changing based on recent market trends. There are two kinds of confirmation signals, normal signals and strong signals. I prefer strong signals because they match the current market trend, so I use only the strong buy and sell signals. For my strategy, I also use candle coloring. Green candles mean strong bullish activity, red candles mean strong bearish activity, and purple candles indicate normal activity. I focus only on the green and red candles. The Neo Cloud, similar to the Ichimoku Cloud, helps us see the market trend direction. When the market is going up, the Neo Cloud acts as support, but when it's going down, it acts as resistance. All right, let's dive into the exciting part, understanding how we can use this strategy profitably. We'll start with the rules for entering a long trade. To confirm a valid buy trade, I want to see three things happening. First, the Neo Cloud should be blue because this indicates a strong uptrend. Second, the indicator needs to show a strong buy signal, which is the green triangle with a plus sign, ensuring we are in sync with the market momentum. And third, the candlestick must be green, reflecting strong bullish activity. If all these conditions are met at the close of the candlestick, it's time to open a buy trade. I then set my stop loss at the most recent low, and I aim for a 1 to 1.5 risk to reward ratio for my take profit. This way, I manage my risk effectively while targeting a solid return. Okay, let's go over another buy example. So you want to follow three simple steps. You want to look for a blue colored neo cloud, which confirms the ongoing uptrend. Then you want to wait for a strong buy signal as it is showing the market's positive momentum. And then you want to see a green colored candle, which is indicating robust bullish activity. You then want to open a buy trade, but you want to make sure to wait for the candlestick to be closed. Next, set your stop loss at the most recent low to protect your capital and target a 1 to 1.5 risk to reward ratio to ensure a balanced risk and reward profile. Now, let's look at an example of an invalid buy trade. The Neo Cloud is blue, signaling an uptrend, and we have a buy signal, but the candle is purple, indicating normal activity rather than strong bullish momentum. This makes the entry signal invalid, and it's best to wait for clearer signals to ensure we are trading with the market's strength. Now let's move on to the rules for entering a sell trade. For a sell trade to be valid, I need three conditions to be met. The Neo Cloud must be red, indicating a strong downtrend. Then, a strong sell signal must appear, confirming the market's bearish momentum, and the candlestick needs to be red, reflecting strong bearish activity. If these conditions are satisfied, it's time for us to enter a short trade. We'll set our stop loss at the recent high and target a 1 to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. This approach helps us manage risk while aiming for a profitable outcome.
And here's another example of a valid cell trade. We follow three simple steps. A red-colored neo cloud, which confirms the ongoing downtrend. A strong sell signal, indicating the market's bearish momentum. And a red candle, showing strong bearish activity. We set our stop loss at the recent high to protect our position and aim for a 1 to 1.5 risk to reward ratio to balance risk and reward. Understanding these signals and how to interpret them can make a significant difference in your trading strategy. The confirmation signals are crucial because they help us align our trades with the prevailing market trend. By focusing on strong signals and appropriate candle colors, we can filter out weaker trade opportunities and focus on high probability setups. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more tips and strategies. Happy trading!